To illustrate how lift and drag curves can be used, let's have a look at a symmetric airfoil with an identical upper and lower surface, like the NACO 0012 for example. At zero angle of attack, it doesn't generate any lift at all, only drag. But as soon as you rotate the leading edge up into the air, you create a positive angle of attack, creating lift on the airfoil. Now, if you increase the angle of attack too much, you pass a critical point and you enter the aerodynamic stall zone. And this is caused by a separating flow at the suction side or the suction surface of the airfoil. 